Italian armor is often considered a laughingstock compared to their contemporaries in World War II. During the war, however, one project was under development that may have changed all that. This is the story of the Fiat M1643, also known as the Caro Armato Celede Sahariano. Throughout history, there have been countless tanks, all designed to kill. But not all have been a success. What happened to the ones that never made it? And why did they fail? My name is Konovar. Join me as we journey through time, uncovering failed projects and forgotten creations in Cursed by Design. War raged in the deserts of North Africa. Allied forces clashed in a deadly tug of war with the Axis over huge swaths of land. In this environment, mobility was a major asset and was used by both sides to great success, often contributing to victory. One vehicle that greatly illustrated this strength was the British cruiser tanks. Light and agile, these tanks greatly impressed the Italian forces who faced them. Despite only being armed with a two-pounder cannon, they could still deal with most of the lighter armor used by the Axis, including the weak L3s and other Italian tanks. In fact, the Italians were so impressed, they decided to begin a program to create a similar tank of their own. This would become the M1643. The earliest attempt to replicate the cruisers used an M1441 as a testbed. This initial concept vehicle had only minor changes made to the positioning and angle of some armor plates, as well as featuring a modified turret which was flatter and wider. This turret would be very similar to the one on the final prototype. Work eventually progressed to the true prototype, and it was completed at some point during the spring of 1942. Unlike previous designs, this machine would feature the famed Christie suspension, although it would not have shared the ability to run trackless like other tanks with this system. Sources differ on how exactly they got access to this technology, with one saying it was designed using a BT-5 captured during the Spanish Civil War, and others saying it was reverse engineered from a British tank. It's also possible the system used was in fact torsion bar and not Christie suspension, at least according to one source. The road wheels also bear similarities to those found on the T-34, so it's possible some degree of inspiration was drawn from those tanks and other foreign designs. Since this tank was designed specifically for the desert, it was equipped with special sand filters and ventilation systems for the crew. It also had its engine cooling system reworked. The hull of the tank was built with an elongated design with angled plates which gave the tank a very unique silhouette. The total weight when completed was around 14 tons, which when coupled with its 275 horsepower engine, gave the tank excellent mobility. I'd like to note here that sources differ on the weight with some saying 18 tons, but I feel the 14 ton figure is more accurate. During its testing, it reportedly was capable of around 60 km per hour on a solid surface. Obviously, with this good mobility, there had to be a trade-off. Protection of this vehicle was very light, with most armor being easily outmatched by the stronger Allied guns. According to the fan-made model in War Thunder, the tank was equipped with an extra plate over the upper hull, which would have provided enough effective protection to block most shells. However, I can find no information to back this up. I made an attempt to reach out to one of the individuals who made and sold the model to the game developers, but they would not give any information regarding it, unfortunately. Within its flat turret, it was armed with a longer version of the 47mm which was used on previous Italian tanks. This gun was able to roughly match the performance of the two-pounder, although when the prototype was completed, it was certainly not as effective as was likely needed. Due to this, plans were drafted to mount a larger 75mm gun for the production version. However, the project was eventually cancelled later in 1942 or early 1943 as the fighting in Africa, which it had been specifically designed for, drew to a close. The single prototype is said to have been kept in storage until 1944 when it was scrapped. Despite being a promising design for the Italians, this tank may actually have hindered their ability to properly equip their forces. This is due to the fact that according to one source, the project was started as a way to prevent foreign imports to replace the native designs. The foreign design in question was the Skoda T21, which had previously outperformed the Italian M14 tanks in tests. So instead of being a new weapon to defeat the Allied forces, the only success had by the M1643 was to actively prevent proven designs from entering service. Please keep in mind the sources for this information may not be entirely correct, but I tried to use my discretion to provide the most accurate picture of this tank's development that I could. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more videos. And if this shorter video wasn't enough tank-related information for you, take a look at the playlist on your screen right now and pick one that catches your eye. See you there.